It is. Today is International Women's Day. So appropriate since Weather Command today is dominated by the ladies. Well, <laughs> the day is to honor and celebrate the achievements of women around the world. And on this day, we'd like to highlight Fox News meteorologist Janice Dean, who's a force of nature predicting storms for almost two decades. That's right. Janice began her career in radio, eventually making her way to Fox News in 2004, covering everything from hurricanes to blizzards, even to destructive tornadoes. When Jan I was a high schooler, by the way, all I wanted to be was Janice Dean the weather machine. I'm saying that right to you, Janice. Oh, yes. Well, mm. Janice was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2005 and has since raised awareness of this disease. Just yeah, incredible. she has devoted a lot of her time to charity work, and she balances it all with the support of her husband and her beautiful children. I mean, Janice, you truly are an inspiration to all women in our field. I, I can say that for sure. Absolutely. Well, uh, it's International Women's Day. We're happy to have you here. Yes, yeah, thank you guys. What an introduction, oh Janice. Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome <laughs> on International is. Women's Day. Oh, I love that. I, I I don't feel like I'm deserving. Oh, her. you are, you are, you are. <laughs> yeah, this is a global, global celebration for women. It, it's an exciting day to celebrate. And when you look at some of your achievements and even the challenges that you've had, they're admirable, they inspire us. But what gives you some of the inspiration that you've had to accomplish so much? Well, I'm really lucky because I work with really great people that mm -hmm. encourage that, right? Uh, I mean, I'm really lucky that I can take my advocacy and back when I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2005, a lot of people in the industry told me not to tell anyone. They said, you know, if you uh, say that you have this illness, this chronic illness, people are going to look at you differently. You might not uh, go very far in your career because they might think that, you know, because of your sickness, you're not going to do well. And I just decided to be honest about it. That's been my whole career is just being honest and upfront with the audience and with the people I work with. And that has served me well for the last 20 years. It's been an opportunity, right, that you've been able to have that influence on people because you do have, you know, a platform to share on that. What's the response? Response been back. What what's it been like to be a part of that process and sharing a message? Amazing, right? Uh, I just feel like when you have that um, that power to connect with people in that way, uh, I've had so many people over the years say, "I'm so glad that you shared your diagnosis. I'm so glad that you tell us about your life behind the camera because it feels like we're connected." And I've had so many people say to me, "I've been diagnosed with a chronic illness, and I've been forthcoming with that with my employer and people around me." And it is very freeing to be able to do that, and also set an example of a business of a place like Fox who want to help and say whatever we can do to help you, that is the most important goal. It's also MS Awareness Month too, so we, yes, scored, on, we scored on that little message Thank to you be for able to give that. that. Um, you know, one of the biggest obstacles, you talk about connecting women, a lot of women can say, the hardest thing I face is just balancing, balancing what sort of challenge I might have, my family, my work, getting it all together. How have you been able to manage the balance that so many women feel the pressure to, to keep? I have a tremendous support group, not only here at Fox, the wonderful women that I work with, I have a wonderful family. Uh, I have the support of my husband, my two sons. Um, you know, I never felt alone that way, and I think I'm really lucky, but there are also support groups as well. The MS Society has a support group. Um, I think if you, you know, instead of bottling up everything inside and you tell other people, you talk it through, that really does help in any type of situation. I think, you know, if you're having any kind of um, challenges in your life, I think there are now more than ever more opportunities to, to talk to people and, and get help when you need it. You love to, to talk to people. You, I do. You started the new podcast. Yes. It's been really cool to see different personalities emerge. As you've interviewed a lot of women too, by the way, from Fox, uh, have you been surprised by any of the conversations? Have you learned things? What have you taken away from some of these podcasts? Because it's fun to see people revealed sort of behind the microphone instead of on TV. I have to say the podcast is one of my favorite things in my career uh, because, and you've been on the mm -hmm. podcast, and I, got, I have to get the ladies on as well. <laughs> I don't have a script. I don't say you have to tell me about this, this, this. Uh, you know, there's no Google in front of me. I just have conversations, and everything happens very organically, and that's the way I like it. It's like how Having dinner with your best friend uh, and you know just getting into a, a conversation about them and their life, I think we're losing that 
the listening capability. I think it's important to listen to each other, and that's when we can really connect and find out about one another. And you have a knack for getting the skinny, <laughs> the scoop out of the situation. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun to listen to the podcast. Thank so you. That's one way that you can catch Janice Dean. Um, also, we just shout out to all women out there yes. today. International Women's Day. We hope that you can be strong and powerful and follow in the footsteps of those who inspire you. I Thanks, feel Janice. the love, ladies. Thanks I feel for being the love. here today. By the way, you can check it out right here. This is the book. I Am the Storm came out January 17th. This is Janice's latest book. She's done three children's book and also the first oh, book. Oh, can I give you a scoop on that? Please do. We're doing another Freddie the Frog cast. Okay. <laughs> I love that it. That is a scoop. That is a scoop. Yes, I love children's it. book, and we're learning about the weather. Congratulations on all of it, and thanks Thank for being you. with us here and a part of the Fox Weather team. Oh, I love you, ladies. Thank you so much. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.